What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be working on the K24 engine that I just got. Um, we're gonna be upgrading the oil pump. Uh, what I have is a S2000 oil pump that we're gonna be installing. Normally you would want an RSX Type S oil pump, but since I already have this S2000 oil pump, we're gonna put that in the K24A. Um, supposedly, you could do some research on it. It lets you rev a lot higher than the RSX oil pump. Uh, I'm not sure if it gives out more oil pump pressure, but this is what I have and I'm gonna use it. So, yeah. So initially I was gonna run the short block. It's a K24 A4, I believe it was out of Honda Accord. Um, my wife's cousin built this engine many, many years ago, but he never finished it. Um, he ended up passing away and I ended up grabbing the short block that he was building. So as you can see, there's, this has some high compression pistons in it. These are white school pistons. They're 88, they're bored over to 88 millimeters. Um, but these are too high for my application. Like I said, this is for, you know, like a race car, drag car. But dang, look at that dome on it. But unfortunately, I'm not gonna run this setup. I'm probably gonna end up selling this, uh, these rosin pistons. Um, if you guys are interested, let me know. These are Wisco pistons and they have Eagle rods on them. But on the inside, we have the S2000 oil pump. So, so we're gonna swap this oil pump onto the JDM K24. And maybe I might consider building this block later, but at the moment, we're gonna rob the S2000 oil pump um, and go from there. And this might go, I might sell this or I might end up building it later, uh, who knows. But like I said, pretty much we're gonna steal the oil pump off of this and we're gonna take the big old balance shaft oil pump off the K24 so we could get that high revving motor to 10K. No, I'm just playing probably like eight, eight and a half or nine maybe. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take this apart. Put this back where, put this back in the corner and then we'll start tearing this engine apart. Also, I've been wanting to go K-Swap for a while, so I collected some parts over the years. We have a RBC manifold. I just got mocked up to the engine. Um, let's see what we got. We got a RSX Type S half shaft. We got a um, base model water pump housing. Um, this is from the K24 motor. Got a Type S. Uh, engine harness, 04. Got a Type S throttle body with all the sensors. Um, base model crankshaft pulley. Um, that's from the K24. Got an ECU. That still needs to get Cape Road. Type S, PRB. This is a S2000 modified oil pump, as you can see. This is the S2000 oil pump. We've got a Type S windage, windage tray um, on the side. I believe this is the um, K20 guide, K20 tensioner, chain. I'll leave a link down below on Drag Cartel's uh, oil pump kit. So basically you get the oil pump you get the guides, the chain, the tensioner, the windage tray. I believe they supply you with all the bolts as well. Um, yeah, all this red, all this oil is just assembly lube. Now let's go ahead and take this off.
right, y'all. So the valve cover is off. Um, so I'm not really impressed with this motor. I don't know if it's because it's been sitting for a while, but it's pretty... Looks like it got a lot of miles on it to me. Um, I'm not sure if water got into this motor and kind of rusted out, you know, the cams and stuff. Um, I thought it'd be a little bit cleaner. But anyway, um, I've been messing with the timing, putting it on top dead center. But I couldn't get the timing marks to align. Um, I couldn't get the timing marks to align on the crank pulley. Because normally, top dead center, the white mark would be right here. But for some reason, it's down here. As you can see. Um, the cam gears, yeah, you can see like corrosion and rust building up. So I don't know if that's normal for a JDM motor that's been sitting, but um, yeah. So anyways, I took the spark plug out, put a, the dipstick in there and make sure I'm on top to the center. Uh, both marks, arrows are pointing up. You can't even see the link. The color of the link anymore that's how corroded it is um where's the up mark on this one i guess it's that damn anyway so i got this aligned pretty much on a uh, top dead center but when you get to the bottom the crank pulley mark is over here and I did look at the tensioner. I mean, it looks aligned because you could move the crank a tad bit and you could put a pin in there to lock it. But this part's not making any sense to me. Uh, well, so I guess what I'm gonna do is take this crank pulley off and I'm gonna try the, the K20 one I have, see if it goes to that mark and proceed to open the timing cover and check to see if, it's the, if everything's still in time. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, this is a game changer if you guys don't have one. This is to take the crank pulley off. Let's see if we can do it one shot. So this is the K20 crank pulley I got. Um, looks like it does line up with the pointer on the timing cover. So I thought something was wrong with this engine. So let's go ahead and proceed to take the timing cover off. And I'm gonna just double check again to make sure if the timing is good. it off and I I'm glad I just didn't throw this engine in the car and ran it because it is nasty it's really really rusty the chain got rust all over it I mean they're probably run but man look at the tension there look at all that corrosion look at the oil pump the tensioner is all corroded yeah even the freaking post plate 
Hold on a second. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, all right, I guess let's, let's drain the oil and flip it around. Take the oil pan off and inspect the bottom. Jesus. Damn. Jeez. Is that that much rust in there? I want you to stay.